Okay, so let's um, go into a, a movement practice and we'll bend your knees so your feet are on the mat. And just bring your awareness to your breath for a moment, get centered. And if you can, tap into that longer, smoother, softer breath. And when you're ready, bring one knee in towards your chest. Please. And just kind of explore here. You can move the hip around, you can do some circles. They don't have to be big, they don't have to be small, they don't have to be anything. Just kind of circling that hip around and just noticing any sensations. And if you do notice some kind of discomfort, just see if you can explore it a little bit, notice what's going on with the breath. If that tension comes, are you holding the breath or does the breath change? And you can circle, yeah, both ways. So move one way a couple times and then the other way. And keeping the body tension low if, it, if you tend to find yourself gripping anywhere through the neck, the jaw, the shoulder blades, the abdomen. And then see what happens if you cross that ankle over top of your thigh. Okay, and then you can bring your right hand and just press that thigh out to the side and this left hand out beside you here. Mm -hmm. And just gently see what that feels like, keeping that breath long, smooth, soft. And then keeping your ankle there, switch hands and grab the outer thigh with that left hand and take your right hand out to the side. And you can pull that thigh across the body. And again, just noticing if there is any discomfort, see if you can release anything you might be holding that doesn't serve you right now. And watching again that breath so you can keep it that long pattern, the smooth, soft, and then switch hands and go back to the original. Yeah. And we're just going to do that now, back and forth. If it's not too much for you, you can try to time it with the breath. So as you switch, this is where you can exhale all breath out. And then when your breath is ready, when you inhale, switch. So this can be the inhale here. And when you're ready to exhale, switch. So you're really letting the breath dictate when you move. So the breath is the leader. Making sure this movement feels good for you, safe for your body, and keeping that breath calm and the body tension just low and calm. Just the right amount of effort here. Good, and then release. And let's take that right leg now. See if you can straighten it. It doesn't have to go all the way straight. Good, and then lift it up towards the ceiling. And you can hang on with the um, to your leg with the back of, or the back of your leg with your hands. Good. Pressing your toes towards you, heels to the sky. How does that feel? You okay there? Okay. And then hugging the knee in towards the chest. So you can bend the knee now. Yeah, just bend the knee all the way and just hug, do the knee to chest thing. Yeah. And then straighten it out again. If you need to bring it away from the body, you can. And then hugging it back in. So let's just decrease the amount of effort here. So let's say you want to do maybe 50% of your effort. So just backing off. So it doesn't have to be perfect. The leg doesn't have to be perfectly straight, so you're just finding some, some ease, some peace even in the movement, nice. Okay, and then just release through there, and go ahead now and bring the other knee up and towards your chest to meet that one, yes, you can do both. And just see how that feels, you can rock side to side a little bit, maybe even get a sense of how the difference in pressure underneath you, how that feels. So the, the low back or even the sacrum, the pelvis part. 
how you can feel the difference in um, pressure and surface underneath you, and some circles even, just coming up and around, getting um, a sense of how you can feel now, almost like you're giving yourself a massage, you can feel the pressure across and then down on the left, across the sacrum, up on the right, almost like you're drawing a circle on the surface underneath you, and then the other way. And just checking in with your breath and instill that nice, long, smooth, soft pattern. And using the least amount of energy here, effort. So as you do this, notice what's happening at the neck, the shoulders. Obviously, there's going to be some muscles working in the arms and the biceps to hold your legs. But can you use just the right amount of effort so you're not gripping and over-efforting? Even the fingers. And then you can release, you can bring the feet back down towards the mat. And let's do the other leg now. So the left leg will come in, the knee to chest. And we'll just start with circles or exploring and moving around. So they don't have to be perfect circles. We just want you to kind of move around, noticing any physical sensations. And if there is some sort of tension somewhere, see if you can bring your attention to the tension. And and see if you can release or relax anything that might not serve you, that you might not need to do this. And that breath, of course, stays long and smooth and soft. And just watch if you're analyzing or making any judgments. And if your mind starts to take you away on a story to see if you can come back to bringing your mind and your attention to that hip just noticing any sensations so I just want to try to stay present with your within your body and then let's bring that ankle and cross over top of the thigh and then this left hand can press the thigh out to the side and the right arm out nice and just hold here for a moment gently and getting us even a sensation of this idea that on this left side here you're pressing through and it's like you're getting some expansion there and then out through the right fingertips so it's just the concept of space and the one side of the body is going one way and then the right fingertips the other side of the body is going the other way it's this idea of expansion, space, and, and then you can switch hands. So now the right hand grabs the outer thigh, and then this left hand comes out. And again, this idea of space and opening. So the this left hand, it's almost like the you're imagining the fingers, thumb, index, middle ring, pinky are stretching out that way and then the knee going opposite way. And then let's go back and forth now between those two and you can use breath if it's not too confusing for you. You can try it out. So this is that inhale, nice. And then when your breath is ready, now exhale as you pull that knee and then all breath out exhaling and then as you switch you can take an inhale here and wait for that breath so you don't have to rush let the breath lead you long smooth soft breath and if there is any tension you're feeling see if you can let it go just a little bit maybe through the jaw the neck And I like how you're moving your head with the movement too. You're going opposite, that's nice. Okay, nice, all right. And then we'll straighten that left leg. So you can bring your, um, yeah, and then bring the leg up. And on there, toes to nose, heel up towards the ceiling, and then hugging the knee in towards the chest. Good. And just explore. This side might be different than the other one. 
Right, so let's see if we can time this with the breath too. So when you inhale, you can lift and toes to nose, heel yet. And then when you exhale, hugging that knee into the chest. And remember, just use about 50% of your effort here so it doesn't have to be all the way max for this purpose. Noticing even what the foot is doing on the right, so the foot that's on the mat, are the toes clenching? Can you release the toes on the right side? The fingers around the thigh, can you release and not grip? And of course the jaw, softening the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. Nice. Okay, and then all breath out, you can bring that foot back down to the mat. And the last one here, um, we'll bring the arms out to the side. And just let the knees fall back and forth. And only go as far as you feel comfortable here. So you don't have to go all the way. You could do even little mini ones at the top. And again, we're just kind of exploring and noticing what is going on in the body, through the back, the hips, maybe even through the side trunk or somewhere around the armpits. And making sure that this feels safe for you and as best as you can, keep that breath, that long, smooth, soft breath. And the body tension, nice and calm and low. But of course, we're still using muscles to do this, so it's just the right amount of effort. And I want you to try something different here. Can you move just the top leg, so your right leg? Just move that one over, yeah? And then the other one moves to join it. So go all the way over to the other side now. Nice. So basically we're trying to just do one leg at a time. So move the top leg and then the other. Nice. So not even anticipating that second leg. So we're trying to move just one one leg at a time, which sometimes can be tricky, but you're doing a great job. And notice if one side feels different than the other, or what the quality of your movement is, if it's a little, if there's any bumps or ridges, or maybe it feels nice and smooth. And still keeping your mind uh, present and even exploring other parts of the body. So again, what's happening at the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. And finding some peace here, some ease. So do what you need to do to make this maybe a little bit easier for yourself and maybe even a little bit enjoyable. and finish off one more. No need to rush, just be patient. Nice. And then taking your time, come back to center. And if there's anything else that you feel like your body wants to do right now, maybe you feel like bringing your knees to your chest, maybe you feel like straightening your legs out, arms a certain way, so there's no rules here. So anything you want, listen to your body. Often it'll tell you what it wants to do. Nice. And that's it, yeah, just stretch out.